captain Graeme Canty returns to the Cork lineup after missing the Munster final through injury. Dual star Owen Cadigan has recovered from a chest infection. He starts a corner back. Pierce O'Neill and Paddy Kelly also available again after missing the Munster decider, but both named on the bench. Well, this is the same Kildare team that beat Sligo so convincingly in the qualifiers last week. Shawnee Johnson's name has grabbed the headlines all summer, but once again he must be content with a place on the bench. So too Dermot Early, both expected to feature at some stage. This is Mikey Conway. Gets it in there to Owen Doyle, back to Conway again. He's Johnny Doyle outside him. Also has Morgan O'Flaherty. Exchanges passes with his younger brother. Now Johnny Doyle decides to take it on himself with a right boot. How often have we seen Johnny Doyle do that? The Kildare supporters like that. And I'm sure Johnny did too. Sweet kick with the right boot. Good build up. And Kildare have the lead again by a point. This is Emmett Bolton looking around for some support. Emmett Bolton has to go inside to these centre half back. That's Morgan O'Flaherty. And picked off the ground there, says the referee, by Owen O'Flaherty. And Cork can counter attack. Get the ball moving quickly. This is Paul Kerrigan. And he could be in for a goal here. Paul Kerrigan! It's in the net! I'm not sure he knew too much about it, but the green flag goes up. His first effort was blocked by Shane Connolly. And Shane Connolly just can't believe his luck. Quick thinking from the Cork men. Paul Kerrigan just shrugged off his marker. That was on Doyle. The first shot blocked. And a fortuitous goal for the Lee Siders. That was the pickup. This is the goal. Came off the wing back. Old Doyle, and how unlucky is this for Kildare? An old goal the second time in consecutive days we've seen it in Crow Park this weekend. Alan O'Connor is underneath this one. It's out for a court ball. Now, some of the Kildare supporters and players not happy with that decision from the linesman on that far side. Another opportunity to see this one. Last touch certainly looked like it came off a cork man. Might be an opportunity for a goal here. Cork threatening. It's in the back of the net. And it's Colm O'Neill who finishes from close range. Well, while we were watching the replay, and there will be question marks, should that have been a cork ball in the first place? Quick thinking here. Colm O'Neill to Dunnick O'Connor, the return. And Shane Connolly in the Kildare goal had little or no chance. Cork lead 2-5 to three points. And Aidan Walsh cleverly tips that one on, and Cork come away with a great work. Here's Paul Kerrigan. Aidan Walsh is down on the deck, but Cork play on, looking for another score. There's seven points to the good. This is Colm O'Neill, usually so active with the left. This one's dropping. Nicholas Murphy's underneath it. Murphy gathers at the second attempt. And can he get a score? Hugh McGrillen, great defending from the Kildare cornerback. And the clearance can be complete now because there was a foul there on Johnny Doyle, just ankle tapped as Aidan Walsh gets back up on his feet. Now the referee is going back because he wants to have a word here with Owen Doyle, who challenged Aidan Walsh as he broke away in that last attack. Good refereeing here from Joe McQuillan. Yellow card for Owen Doyle. Now, James Kavanagh. Kavanagh trying to pick out Camos O'Connor again, gets out in front of his marker this time, this is Alan Smith, can he kick a point? He can! Much better from Kildare, and slowly but surely they're playing themselves back into this contest. Good work by Camos O'Connor, this is why he's in the Kildare team, got out in front of Owen Cadigan for the first time today, a layoff to Smith, and he scores his second point of the afternoon. Five between them. Great work by Tomas O'Connor and Kildare have it back again. Now, can they make possession count? Recycled here by Mikey Conway. On to Michael Foley, into the corner. This is Emmett Bolton, the flying wing back, getting involved in the action. Back it comes to Johnny Doyle. Another point for Kildare. A huge kick from Johnny Doyle. And he reduces the deficit even further.
this a serious comeback by Kildare back in it that's Cork who lead two goals and six points to Kildare's eight and Cork coming back into this game again here early in the second half trying to work it in this is Donnick O'Connor turns on the left boot sweet point third point of the game from play and an important one as well Good showing here by Donnick O'Connor. It was a very tight angle. He made little of it. It's a good score. This is Pauli Kassan. Feeds it into Aiden Walsh. And it's opening up here for Paul Kerrigan. Great save by the goalkeeper, Shane Connolly. Well, what a wonderful opportunity. Paul Kerrigan got in there, drilled it, but the goalkeeper just got the fingertips. And... Uh, you're going to hear a little cheer in a moment because Shawnee Johnson is taking off the track seat. We'll stay with the play, coming forward. Aiden Walsh bearing down a goal. Aiden Walsh, well, I'm sure he had goal on his mind. He holds the head after he kicked that one. Aiden Walsh, the man who scored that goal in the Munster decider, bearing down a goal, got away from his marker, just over. And there's a, a lot of off the ball going on. Cameras haven't picked it up. You might have got a glimpse of it there to the left of your screen. Play continues. Old Cadigan, high challenge there by his own Doyle. And own Doyle, he's on a yellow already here. Own Doyle with that high challenge on own Cadigan, and this could be big, big trouble for the Kildare wing back. It's a yellow. That means red. Own Doyle is in for an early shower and Kildare's uphill battle has become a mountain double scores there's eight between them and now they're down to 14 men the Lee Siders did have a little worry before half time a little slip after scoring their second goal but they've just turned it on again here at the start of the second half and they surely on their way now to an All-Ireland semi-final here's Paul Kerrigan Dancing around the challenge of Peter Kelly, still Paul Kerrigan. He's a wonderful turn of pace, Paul Kerrigan, on the left boot, looking for a point and getting it. Well, Paul Kerrigan involved in that own goal in the first half. And the Cork lead is now 213 to 8 points. That's 19 points to 8. There's 11 between the sides. Nine weeks ago, played Clare in the Munster final. Didn't really... Had to break a sweat in that contest, unfortunately. And lots of people questioning. Maybe they'd be rusty today, but they've answered all the critics. And they've turned on the style. And they haven't really had to break a sweat either, have they? This is Pori Kisan, scored a point in the first half. Gets a second. Yes, that's number five on his shirt. And Pori Kisan, moonlighting as an attacker in this game. That is a beautiful strike of the ball. Lots of space here for Dermot Early. He's got James Cavanaugh on his left-hand shoulder, decides to get that ball into Shawnee Johnson. Shawnee Johnson being marshalled by Michael Shields. Back it comes here to Alan Smith. Kildare looking for their second point of the second half, and they get it. It's Alan Smith, his third of the game. He really impressed in the first half. Haven't seen too much of him in this second period. Oh, a little too late, I'm afraid. Eight minutes to go. Cork lead, 2.15 to Kildare's 10. James Kavanagh has just tugged back there. The free kick taken quickly. This is Dermot Early. Dermot Early having a look at the post and popping that one over the bar. It's all consolation at this stage. Dermot Early showing the scars of battle. Coming on to this quickly taken free kick and sending it over. It's their 11th point of the game. And it's Cork who have put down a serious marker this afternoon. They really are contenders as they come forward again with Colm O'Neill giving it into Paul Kerrigan. Kerrigan happy to take his point. His second point of the game, it's 218 to 11 points. That's 24 to 11. Some glum-looking Kildare supporters. The referee calls for the ball, and Kieran McGinney's Lily Whites go out of the championship on a whimper. It's all about Cork, the champions of 
2010 march on to the All Ireland semi finals. Final score on Pro Park Cork 219, Kildare 12 points.